The baby is back in the media with yet another controversy, and this time is associated with violence, one of the numerous trademarks associated with his career. This time a fan is on the receiving end. As he's currently regarded as one of the biggest rappers in the game at the moment, the baby has taken over our airways while also getting himself muddled in controversies. Ever since he burst into the scene, Baby has found himself arrested, detained, or involved in physical altercations. Recently, Baby was involved in controversy again after reports came in that the rapper and his crew ganged up to beat a fan. Onlookers present said the fan was only trying to congratulate the rapper before being chased off by the rapper's crew. Keep watching to find out more about Jonathan Kirk and his violent streak. Background The Baby has sparked a string of controversies this year, which has attracted criticism from fellow stars brands, and festivals. The 29-year-old rapper had a great 2020 since his first number one hit, Rockstar, was crowned 2020 Song of the Summer and nominated for Record of the Year at the 2021 Grammy Awards. Growing up, he found love in music, making a sharp turn from a life of crime and legal issues to make a full-time career out of rap with no previous experience. The baby was born Jonathan Lindell Kirk on December 22, 1991 in Cleveland, Ohio, US. He was the youngest in a family of three boys. He credits his older brothers for their influence on his taste in music. He grew up on artists like Eminem, Kanye West, 50 Cent, and Lil Wayne. Despite being a music enthusiast as a child, the baby, interestingly, was never bothered about making a career in music. The family moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, when the baby was six years old. The neighborhood wasn't exactly heaven for baby Jesus. He found himself amidst the bad elements from the streets. He found himself a career in petty crimes as a teenager. As a juvenile delinquent that he turned out to be, he was booked by the local police several times for crimes such as driving with a fake license and possessing He went in and out of prison, like studio sessions, while continuing his high school education from the Zebulon B. Vance High School in Charlotte, North Carolina. Baby considered making a career switch, so he found a haven in music. Although before that, he did small jobs, sometimes illegal, to make money. Music Career in December 2014, Kirk made a quick decision to become a rapper, taking the name Baby Jesus. Perhaps he saw the future when he picked the name, seeing all the persecution he suffered. He later changed the name, considering the fact that it was religiously inappropriate. He picked up the baby later in his career. In 2015, the baby released his debut mixtape, Nonfiction. It wasn't exactly a hit, as it was deemed amateurish and failed to attract music lovers. Not taken aback by the poor reception of his debut mixtape, he continued to work on his next project, another mixtape. He also lacked onstage experience. This was partly due to the fact that Charlotte, North Carolina did not have a great rap music scene. Like every brilliant mind, the baby tried to look for options. In the spring of 2015, he moved to Austin, Texas to participate in the South by Southwest Music Festival. There, he made an impression by performing many of his tracks from his mixtapes. He gained a good response at the festival and was encouraged to release another mixtape in 2016, God's Work Resurrected. He brought on Boosie Badass to collaborate with him. Beginning with this mixtape, he began using the name The Baby. In a short introduction to the mixtape, he explained that there were political reasons behind him changing his name. Multiple mixtapes followed in the coming months, with 2017 offerings Billion Dollar Baby, Baby Talk, Baby Talk 2, 3, and 4, and Back on My Baby Jesus. 2018 continued in a similarly prolific fashion with Baby Talk 5 and Blank Blank. His endless hustle led to a major label deal in 2019 when he signed on with Interscope. The label quickly released the Billboard 200 Top 10 hit Baby on Baby in March of that year. Everything seemed right on track until the old baby resurfaced and the problems kept piling in. Controversies Despite the fact that he had left the life of crime before beginning his career, the baby got in trouble once again in November 2018 when it was reported that he had shot a man to death. 19-year-old Jalen Dominique Craig was shot and killed by the rising Charlotte rapper during a fight that broke out in the produce aisle of Walmart. The baby said he was in the store shopping with his one and five-year-olds and their mother when someone pulled a gun and tried to take my life. The rapper was handed a suspended 30-day jail sentence and 12 months of unsupervised probation. The baby doesn't spare the fans his wrath. You would think he would be mindful of the people who pays for his music, but the man doesn't care. Rappers don't often think of the domino effect of their bad decisions because they're taking things day by day, it seems. In 2020, the North Carolina rapper performed at Whiskey North in Tampa, Florida. At some point during his appearance at the club, he slapped a woman who appeared to strike him with her phone. TMZ obtained a video of the incident. It shows the baby and his entourage walking in the line through the crowd. 
At one point in the clip, a woman reaches out and pushes her phone in the rapper's face with the flash on. She appears to come in contact with his face when he reacts by rearing back and slapping her. The rapper and his crew then continue. Following the smack, someone can be heard in the background saying, he slapped the f out of her. According to the celebrity news site, fans weren't impressed and began to boo the rapper and his crew following the incident. He reportedly left shortly afterward without even performing. Police were called, but no one was arrested. In 2021, he was yet again in the news. He was arrested in January after police reportedly found a loaded and concealed handgun in his possession. The rock star rapper was seen carrying a 9mm inside his car. A spokesperson for the Beverly Hills Police Department confirmed that they were called to the area at around 4.30 p.m. after receiving reports of a man on Rodeo Drive who was carrying a weapon in his waistband while walking with friends. The footage by TMZ shows the rapper being apprehended by police after leaving high-end fashion store Montclair in a black SUV. It is believed that Kirk was subsequently handcuffed by police. He was released from custody after posting a $35,000 bond. This came on the heels of another unfortunate event where he brought out Tory Lanez during his set at the Rolling Loud Miami Festival right after Megan Thee Stallion, who accused Lanez of shooting her in the foot last year. Details about the alleged shooting came to light after it took place last year July and it remains unclear exactly what happened. The incident occurred after Megan, Lanez, and two unidentified people left the party at Kylie Jenner's home. Lanez continued to receive support from fans and various artists in the months since the alleged shooting. The baby himself apparently retweeted a fan's joke about the shooting, prompting an angry response from Megan. He seemed to back down, posting, Stand on what you stand on without feeling like I'm against you. At the same event, the Suge rapper didn't stop there, and what came next was more shocking. In clips from the live stream performance, the baby made homophobic and misogynistic comments. The baby, being the loudmouth that he is, uploaded a video where he made it clear he couldn't care less what fans on the internet had to say about his comments. Naturally, this angered fans and his reputation took a huge hit as a result. He even began losing sponsorship. Boo Hoo, who worked with the baby for a partnership, also released a statement speaking out against him and condemned him for using homophobic language. They said that they're currently reviewing their deal with him. The baby's response caused even more uproar when other musicians spoke out and condemned the rapper. His collaborator for the song Levitating, Dua Lipa, was forced to address the situation after fans demanded she removed him from the hit song. While recovering from all of this, a video has emerged of the rapper involved in the fans' assault. Two Guys and the Costly Handshake Recently, a fan got more than he bargained for after being violently assaulted by the rapper's entourage. This year, a newly released footage from May 19th showed the baby with a group of friends outside a strip club trailing and violently beating a fan who reportedly approached the baby to shake his hand and congratulate him. Camera footage from the club shows the victim approaching the rapper and reaching out his hands for a handshake. In the footage, the fan wore a light blue shirt but was chased off by large men who accompanied the baby. We are however not sure what the man in the video told the rapper to have prompted a beatdown from his people. But it appeared the rapper gave his approval from the look of things. As the man tried to walk away, the baby and his groupies followed him. The baby eventually stepped away and went into an SUV just a few seconds before the fan was brought down to the floor with a punch. While the footage showed the baby wasn't the one who physically assaulted the fan, the rapper, however, did walk amongst the group while they were in pursuit of the man and stood by to watch the beating like a concert goer at an event. While they were beating down this man, another fan attempted to break the brawl up. When this good Samaritan decided to rescue the traumatized man, the attackers turned on this messiah and roughed him up as well. Onlookers reported that the two victims were left with wounded faces and sustained severe injuries of some nature. Videos of the incident show some of the assailants fleeing the scene after the damage was done. People who witnessed the beating declared that although the baby was not directly involved with the assault, his words, mannerism, and posturing instigated and escalated the situation to the point of violence. Apparently, the baby in mafia mode acted very controlling, asking his boys to illegally obtain and check fans' phones, and acted physically intimidating and superior to a fan who had nothing to gain but a handshake from a celebrity. The incident likely occurred because the baby doesn't like to be involved in anything without his permission. An onlooker speculated that the fan took a picture of the baby without his permission, which is probably what prompted him to ask his security detail to harass the man. Whatever his reason, we still don't seem to understand why the baby would treat one of his fans this way. It was clear from the videos that the fan meant no harm and most likely only wanted to praise the talented rapper. Baby's entourage also took the fan's gold chain necklace just to throw it over a fence during the altercation. The police are looking into this one as they hope to jail the rapper for his role in all of this. It is expected that the two men who suffered from all of this will press charges. 
the baby's criminal history will come back to bite him as the cops will look to use this in building a case against him. The public will probably care less as they're becoming increasingly frustrated by the rapper's antics, which have become very wild. <laughs>